What's up, everybody? Welcome back to BT Willis Garage. I've got a treat for you guys today. You see this? You see this gorgeousness? Yeah. We're gonna, um, we are going to start giving shirts away to subscribers. So I want to show you guys uh, real quick. This is what the back looks like. Got that fresh YouTube logo on there. I guess you can see that. It's pretty much the same as the front. I spent about five minutes putting that together. So. Uh, please appreciate that. Anyway, um, today we've got something cool, guys. Um, I know that you uh, you probably can't see this. I just got this fancy camera st stabilizer that I do not know how to use, so bear with me over these next couple videos. But in this package here, there's something really cool, and we're about to open it up right now. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, that's right. So as you guys just saw with that gorgeous unpacking shot, today we've got um, we've got a rocket sprayer. We've got a brand spanking new XL Pro rocket sprayer. And what I'm going to show you today is how to put this guy together. Um, and what I'm going to do later on too is actually compare my 12 year old rocket sprayer to this new one. Now although this one looks like it's put in some work over time, which it definitely has, it's still performing perfectly, but the fact of the matter is two is always better than one. So we've got a fresh brand new one here. There has been a couple changes over the years um, just with the mold design and there's been a few, uh, a few little details that the company has corrected. So I'm going to put this thing to the test, but first let's learn how to put it together. If you watch this video, you don't even have to read the, um, the instructions on how to put it together. So convenient for you. I'm going to go ahead and take a look and uh, we're going to get this thing cranking. All right, let me get you set up and, and I'm going to give you step-by-step -step instructions starting now. All right, guys, step one, take your spray wand and attach it. All right, everybody, the next step's gonna be to get this rod that we see here through the holes you can see right there, and you can kind of see where it wraps through. Now, it's a little bit curved from the factory. It looks like they may have um, bent it purposefully for it to be able to ride through there, but just be aware it's a little tricky. Um, all right, guys, we got that bar through, and I want to show it to you. So it's curved, so keep in mind, if it's not lining up with the holes, just to just to turn the bar, and it may help just because it's fresh plastic. Um, I keep like a rubber mallet nearby, and just give it a little tap if, if you, you know, don't want to put pressure on your hands, and it'll go through there. Just make sure you don't damage anything, which I doubt you would. All right. All right, everyone, so I wanted to mention real quick, too, before you put those wheels on, if you did go with the back strap model, um, you want to go ahead and, and attach these before you put the wheels on. It just makes your life a whole lot easier. All right, here's a quick example of how to attach this top back strap. You're going to leave that in place, go in and around, and what you're going to do is actually go up there through and tighten it right there all right it's time to tighten it's starting to come together um, I don't know if you can see that but that's a 14 millimeter and you're gonna need a, a pretty much another wrench or um, something to hold the other side because if you 
try to tighten it without holding the opposite side, obviously that little bar is just going to spin. So I'm just going to get this snug. Alright, that's not going anywhere. Good work, you've made it this far. So, let's take a look at what we're working with. We've got Zoe. There she is. All right, so it's starting to come together. Um, we are going to, this is pretty self-explanatory, but you know, the handle just kind of slides in here. Just like that. Tough to do one-handed, but you get the point. And then you can slide those little uh, locking pins in. It's time to test this baby out. Here is your on-off switch. Here, this pump prime up. Let's see the water going through. And the fescue needs a little water. Working like a charm. So you can make adjustments, guys, right here to adjust the spray. So I think that's going to be like a, yeah. I mean, and you can really get 20 some odd feet out of this thing. And then I'll show you, um, if you go the other way, it's going to be more of a mist. Let's see if I'm right. Yep. It's not going nearly as far, but getting really good coverage. That baby fescue looks good, doesn't it? Especially right there if Luna would quit laying on it. All right, let's put it in backpack mode. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the rocket sprayer. Um, whether you own one of these, just bought one, or are thinking about buying one, I highly, highly recommend them. As you can see, um, I own two. So here's a comparison again of, of one that's around 12 years old versus a brand new one that just came out of the box today, as you saw. These can be used for multiple industries, whether you're in pest control and need to lay a lot of product down outside. If you're a window cleaner or a carpet cleaner and you have product that you need to spray, they work great. Um, also in landscaping, as you will see me using it most often, it's really good for putting out products. So we'll get into more videos in the future about how um, we can use these and the various applications they can be applied for. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you have a good one and keep your rocket sprayer running and hopefully you're using it to make some money on the side or at least up keeping your lawn. All right. Have a good one.